and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Rakdos aggro. As y'all know, we played this deck um, with uh, Rampaging Ferocid on the day that it was unbanned and it felt really good. It played played really well. Uh, we went 4-1 in ranked. That's what we're, we're taking it back there, playing some more ranked with the deck. Um, there just hasn't been very much Rampaging Ferocid on these days. You know, like, like even though it's been unbanned, I, I think people are just people just don't want to use their wild cards on Ferocidon. So we haven't really seen this menacing little dinosaur too much. So um, we played it in the Jun Dinosaurs deck. It didn't really do too much for us there. Hey, up minded. Uh, yeah, so it didn't really do too much for us there. But I think it it helps a little bit more in this this deck list where we're being more aggressive, where, where we have our, our burn spells and everything to go along with it. Um, yeah, so the question is, what about Skewer? I don't think we really need Skewer, the critics, in this list. Um, I think the eight burn spells is good enough, and then we have some a couple of good black removal spells. Um, and while, you know, Spectacle's not super hard to turn on, it's, it's still a cost, and so we don't really need more three drops I don't think to go along with spectacle. Looks like looks like Hawkeye wants to come back up here, and no no real room with for Judith with having Ferocid on in here. So yeah, let's give this a try. Uh, I think the like the scape shift matchups are kind of good for us with having or like you know just your field of the dead matchups with having the the Ferocid on um, makes them ping them for every single creature that enters, and then we also have Blood Suns as well. Um, but yeah, let's let's give this a try. Let's, let's be aggressive. Be be aggressive. Some Rakdos aggro. Yeah, and I bet I bet you're not alone there, Android. I bet that's a lot of people's issue that with uh, I guess 18 days now, 18 days until rotation on Arena, that uh, people don't want the Ferocidons. Yeah, I was, I was expecting to see more of them, though. Alright, pretty decent hand. Do I want to trade Dreadhorde Butcher for Llanowar Elf? I think so. It's not like the best trade for me, but with with this aggressive of a hand with being able to play for Ossid on next turn. Cause light up the stage it's kinda awkward casting light up the stage this turn. Where I just have just the swamp available for it. Ah, boo. Boo. I liked my neat new dinosaur. Red Horde Butcher, aka Mana Dork Killer. Ooh, they're just taking it. I'm guessing this is a three color deck that they need the Paradise Druid for the extra color of mana.
Yeah, I had five points of burn here. I could have burned them down to one. You know, if I if I just don't activate knight, I could burn them down to one. I don't have triple red. I couldn't play like butchery and these. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos. Amy. The only authority that yeah, I, I mean, this this one should be over. I can't really see how we're losing this. Yeah, like that. This is just very over. Yeah, poor Carnage Tyrant, just trading with our one drop. After our one drop already dealt a lot of damage, you know, because it, it was it was out, you know, six turns earlier or whatever. All right, so they're Gruel mid range. I think we should get a grasp on this situation of how we need to sideboard. They're probably going to have like a, a bunch of like ripped all raptors. I think I want to play like these other removal spells instead of lightning strikes. I think I like shock as it's still really cheap. I think I'd, I want, yeah, still like the cheaper curve here. Yeah, I agree that that just playing the Domri playing the Domri was a mistake to have the Paradise Druid trade because that playing the Domri means that they have to take uh, three damage from Dreadhorde Butcher there. That was, but I mean at the time they're at six. I guess they're hoping that they could survive still being at six. I'm getting rid of either Ferocidon or Frenzy. Hey, Blue Jen. Thanks for the luck. Well darn. Yeah, they missed a land drop. Yeah, they yep. Night animation, pretty cool. They've been adding in some some cool animations. Um, light, all right. The devil has a new one, and so does Steamkin. Yeah, Steamkin has some new animations. Yeah, the Lana War Butcher. go. 
That works. There's some lands. Rotting Regisaur and Experimental Frenzy, of course, work really well together. Because you can... You can safely discard the cards in hand. Or, like, you know, discarding your cards in hand isn't a drawback when you can't play them anyway. The real question is if I want to get Ferocidon in play first. I guess not. Bag of Holding and Heartwarming Redemption. That is pretty spicy. Those two together. It's a bad block. Got a triple block. Unless, I guess they could have Veil of Summer, though. They did not have Veil of Summer. Now that should be a triple block. But I guess the triple block just allows me to, to get a two for one no matter what, though. Yeah, I guess it's... I guess it's kind of tough to triple block then. So if I play this other Rotting Regisaur, then I just have to discard my hand. I kind of think it's better to have Frenzy in play. Well, that wasn't spectacular. That didn't work out too well. That didn't work out very well at all. In fact, that worked out horribly. I played myself there. If I just destroy Experimental Frenzy this turn, I die. Because I, because I'm not casting anything else, I take eight. Then next turn I can cast one of these because I draw the frenzy. So my only actual play is to play this frenzy off the top. Okay. Well. All right. Well, playing the frenzy just cost me that. Should have played the other regisaur. All right, Ferocidon's looking a little small, but so are these other things? You know, Legion's End for some mana creatures. This is meh. Lightning Strike's not bad. Maybe I go Lightning Strike instead of Ferocidon. No, I think I'd rather have Ferocidon on the play. Yeah, that was that was such a bad frenzy. That was really bad. At least our Butcher does not get stopped by a turn one land or off this time. Anything you'll think will be in... I guess I haven't really thought about the cards as far as eternal playability, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
but so I mean we've hardly gotten anything from the previews so far. But both three mana planeswalkers look really strong. And time will kind of tell how useful the Gilded Goose is. Like if, if it is, you know, like how how easy it is to get uh, to get food tokens. Best of luck, Chief Seth, with the new assignment. Man, this is so rough. Vine Mare? Vine Mare is gonna kill me. Alright, well I messed I messed up the second game. We should have won game two if I just don't play Frenzy. This game is a little more difficult. This one our opponent just had an awesome hand. I don't I don't like even if I if I don't play Frenzy this time, I don't think we're winning. Um Vine Mare is Vine Mare is a nightmare. I think that game two was winnable though. I got two. Um too enticed by the frenzy. That's okay. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Yeah, Frenzy was bad in those games. Um, but I've played so many games with this this deck where Frenzy's just, just been incredible. Uh, Frenzy is certainly worth it in this deck. But yes, those, those two games that ended really quickly... Um, both times, and yeah, no, Fren Frenzy was not good in those games. It's definitely possible I should should, should have sideboarded out some Frenzies. Um, I'm willing to concede that point. But yes, it did look bad in those games. Hey, Bill. GG's. The knight, like, spending my entire turn for knight here isn't really ideal. I'm willing to get rid of it. Wishing well, one mana artifact lets you scry two when it enters the battlefield, and you can pay four to sacrifice it to draw four cards. I wouldn't say that that's, that's not strong enough for a normal control deck, but that can be playable if you're playing, like that, that is strong enough for a deck that, that really cares about artifacts that's, um, you know, playing like some kind of artifacts matters control deck, 
that can be strong enough there, but I don't think just a like a normal, you know, like blue black control deck. I wouldn't put that in there. So Firebrand's probably going to kill this Rejuvenator to help get the Rotting Regisaur through. Trust me. You'll thank me later. <laughs> no one more goes for us. Yeah, Mystic Forge. Yeah, that's that card's a really good Mystic Forge card. That was a rough turn for us. So the opponent has five more cards. I am not going to sit this one out. <sighs> Fairy saying I'm worry. not going to sit this one this. out. Like there's any games that Teferi actually sits out. Sequencing. Should do register first. Would have saved one point of life there. I've got it. Yeah, how it how it says that for Osidon's band in standard it on arena that means in best of one. It's not banned in regular standard here. No, they didn't unban it in best of one since red since red is already really powerful in best of one, they didn't unban Frosted on there. I've got time. Alright, I should have bolted to Fairy. Yeah, they just get to do that. Should have bolted to fairy.
I hope that's a land underneath the Legion's End. That's my, my best hit is a land underneath there. Yeah, this this game's over. Darn. Well, we'll have our blood suns for games two and three. These those Teferi's though. I mean, this this game I messed up. If I just bolt the Teferi, I win. I mean, this this game was completely my fault. With that that bolt there, if I would have just bolted Teferi, they couldn't have bounced Ferocidon, and like they can't they can't come back. So I mean. I got no one to blame on myself. So, like, Rotting Rider Store makes... Like, we have to discard Ferocidon. We draw a knight. That's not going to be good enough. They get tons and tons of zombies here again. So, I mean, that, that game was completely my fault. I messed that game up. If I just Lightning Strike to Fairy, I win that game. Because then, then our Frenzy... We get to keep Frenzy out. Because they can't bounce for, bounce there. And then we get to just go from there. So yeah, I messed that up. Last time I played this matchup, just took out the Dreadhorde Butchers because they get blocked pretty easily. I mean, but so did the Rotting Regisaurs, though. Let's see, taking out Rotting Regisaur. The Regisaurs have been really awkward of making me discard my cards in hand but they can attack for so much damage so fast. I think the only way I can play Bedevil, Bedevil does kill Golos and everything too, is by going this way. I can't have more, I can't have I mean, that's already too many threes. I mean, I guess I guess with adding Blood Sun and Bedevil, we can cut Rotting Rider Swords because that's just too many threes. Yeah, these these two these two matches that we played the the seven six and the frenzy have been really awkward. But I have yeah, I've played like this deck probably like four other times with like the five matches each and those two cards you know, have been all-stars other times, but these are just, you know, two small samples of, like, how it's it's lined up with the cards in hand and how the games have played out that the Rotting Red Swords and the Frenzies have been pretty bad for us. The biggest thing that Golos Field of the Dead loses, they lose a couple of things, like, uh, the Elvish Rejuvenator is the biggest thing that it loses. Um, obviously, Nexus of Fate, like part of like the really good part of part of the strength. There we go. Part of the strength of of playing um, Golos is that you get to activate and hit Nexus of Fates. So Rejuvenator, Nexus of Fate, and then also Mana Base. Like, losing these lands does hurt. Like, losing the dual lands. No, I don't think this deck would be better in a more spectacle shell.
All right, so Butcher can trade with both Rejuvenators. No, it's not a spectacular trade for us, but we can. We can also Lightning Strike a Rejuvenator and then hit him with Butcher. That's probably a better trade for us. I have lightning strikes and shocks. I have them both. We just have lightning strikes in the drawn, but I have four of each in the deck. <laughs> yeah, they, they planned that to have the movie IT. Or IT, I guess. Whatever, the scary movies. They, they definitely had it planned to come out right, right by Friday the 13th. Magic Harry with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for that support there. Our fourth sub of the day. Thanks for resubbing Magic Harry. Nine whole months. So we're not going to be playing this Frenzy. We're going to be playing Knight of the Ebon Legion this next turn. So we have another frenzy. And a lot of other cards in hand. Wouldn't really be too surprising if they have another time wipe in hand considering they just used one on on a dread horde butcher. Yep. So not too surprising. Oh yeah, I, I like the yeah, I like the animations and everything. My my biggest yeah, always my biggest worry with the animations is that they will They'll slow the the performance down. That's that's my biggest worry. But as long as they don't do that, then I like them. Right on schedule. Timing. Well, why'd they play their land then? If they're if they're gonna bounce this other blood sun too, Let's play their land for turn. Might be a bad idea. I could have had two more zombies. Still in a rough spot, though. Yay, land.
I've done the hero thing before. Oh, that's why my opponent played the land, because it's a guild gate. They need to play it untapped to be able to go grab Golos. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, hundred, yeah, eleven hundred viewers in here. What's up, everybody? They're playing Krasis in their deck. I don't know why I didn't think their deck had Krasis, but all right. I guess I didn't. I didn't sideboard well. I didn't sideboard for Krasis at all. I mean, I'd, I'd have the one Bedevil, but I already cast that. So I need to. I need to play Noxious Grasps. For some reason, I just forgot about Krasis. Like, I was thinking, like, the Golos, the Golos version wouldn't have Krasis. Because Krasis is a dead card off Golos. But that doesn't make sense. They'd still have Krasis. Alright. What's well, this point? That's the matchup that I want to face. But we got destroyed. Well... Not really destroyed. Game one, I threw. We should have won game one. I targeted the wrong thing with Lightning Strike. But game two... So yeah, game two, I, I missed sideboarded for sure. Yeah, I, I need to have all those Noxious Grasps. And don't need as many Shocks and Strikes. You saw, like, we just had a bunch of Shocks and Strikes that couldn't kill their creatures. Maybe I should have played the Ferocidon to go along with the Knight of the Ebon Legion that turn. Because I, I did suspect another Time Wipe. And they did have that other Time Wipe that I expected, so... I'm going to wait with the Firebrand and be able to let the Firebrand team up with a Lightning Strike to kill a Kethys. This is a matchup I have not played before. I, I have not played this, this Rakdos deck against Historic. Um... Well, I'm going to use my mana here and hopefully draw this land for Ferocidon. So without having mana, they weren't too scared of Knight of the Evan Legion, looks like. All the swamps.
I don't, yeah, I haven't, I don't have much of a problem with the cut this combo deck. I don't have anything against it. Certainly hoping they don't have another Kethys. Please, no more Kethyses. Let's slow this down. <laughs> hey, what's up, Midnight? Thanks for stopping by the Twitch channel. Let's try this. Not bouncing Oath of Kaya. Interesting. No. I found another one. We'll take one. That's more like it. Our Rakdos aggro isn't performing too well for us today. That's how it usually happens, though. The deck you feel really good about going into the day is the one that doesn't perform well and the others do just fine. Yeah, they play Mox Amber. They get back Lazav. Or something else and not doing it too well there. All right, so I want all the dresses. I want the Legion's Ends. I want the Noxious Grass. I want the Bedevil. I want the Angrath. Um, let's get rid of a Frenzy. Card hasn't been looking too good for us. Shocks just don't kill things. Um, strikes kill some things. They kill more things. This three mana to fairy has just been wrecking us so bad. It's been wrecking us so bad. All three of these matches. It's been the best card. down so this is a problem like playing rotting register here is a problem because uh, because then we have to start discarding our hand and then it's it's hard to hit land drops to get to Angrath if we do that you 
you, you don't want to Legion's End Fibblethip. Whenever you t whenever Fibblethip becomes the target of a spell, you shuffle it back into its owner's library. So it, the, it uh, doesn't allow your Legion's End to resolve. So I, I can't like Legion's End Fibblethip and exile the other one in their hand. It, Sorry, doesn't, it doesn't work. Trust me, I have a plan. So yeah, you you want Mardu to be the dominant mid range control deck. There was there was Mardu vehicles not too long ago. That was yeah, that was oh, Mardu vehicles the there. Um, had a lot of colorless stuff and everything. No, Leyline of the Void's not playable. If, if, <clears throat> if you want a sideboard card for this deck, you should play it. Like, Ashiok is the card. Ashiok is, you know, just miles and miles better than... Um, better than Leyline of the Void. So I want to attack. I, I didn't care to kill Fibblethip before, but now I do want to kill Fibblethip because of Tamio. The big question is whether we want to strike to fairy or duress them. We can do one. We we discard the other. I keep Angrath to try to land Angrath next turn, which I guess. Yeah, so that means duress. Hmm. I keep on not killing the Teferi and regretting it. I'm going to kill the Teferi this time. Uh, yeah, I just explained this a little bit ago. So when when Fibblethip becomes the target of a spell, you shuffle Fibblethip into the owner's library. So as soon as we target the Fibblethip with Legion's End, then that triggers. It gets shuffled into the library, and then the Legion's End fizzles because it doesn't have a target to exile. Angrath would have been nice. I would have attacked like that. They block. Then I go. Mi then I play it and minus Angrath on this Lazav. So yeah, Dreadhorde Butcher is not really that great against a bunch of one threes. And three fours and stuff. I'll just discard discard at Dreadhorde Butcher. That's rough. Thankfully, that Fibbletip's the only creature in their graveyard.
This is really frustrating. <laughs> Can't get through the, the Fibble Tips at all. Yeah. I guess I wish we had an Ashiok. Rotting Registor has looked so bad this league. It's looked so bad this league. We've already had to discard too many good cards. Like if we would have still had that lightning strike, would be able to kill Teshar. But it's quite unfortunate how how bad both Rotting Registrar and Experimental Frenzy have been this league. Um, no, I, I like Arena just much more than Magic Online. I'm not really interested in playing Magic Online. Nothing really against Modern. I just like Arena a lot more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've played tons and tons of modern tournaments. So I made a I made a name for myself with modern. I know my responsibility. Yeah, my, my player of the year was because of Modern. Um, yeah, my, my player of the year, that was, that was basically all Modern. It was very little of the other formats. A little Legacy, a little Standard, but it's basically all Modern. With all Eldrazi Tron and Green White Value Town, for the most part. But yeah, anyway... That's Rakdos Aggro. I'm going to move on. That was really rough, that league. Um, I'll have to, you know, kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit here. For but It's definitely, I don't know, like the, the other few times that we played this deck, we'd gone like 4-1 the last few times we've been playing it, like each time, and and I was really high on this deck. But, yeah, Rotting Registrar, Experimental Frenzy, just both didn't feel very good. Um, I wasn't, like... I wasn't ever emptying my hand, which was was something that was kind of a problem. You know, like we always had like three, maybe four lands and we we're playing like one thing a turn and we weren't uh, getting rid of the cards in hand, which made, you know, Rotting Registrar a huge downside um, and Experimental Frenzy wasn't that good because, you know, we play Frenzy, we don't get to play anything else. Like we look at our top card, we can maybe play that, but that's it. You know, we weren't hitting more land drops. Um, you know, we were relying on, you know, usually live the stage helps you hit more land drops, but our live the stages were getting us to like land three and land four and we were getting stuck there. Which you know happens. We have 22 lands in the deck, so it's not like we have tons of lands, but I don't know. Just everything was just pretty awkward. You know, like we just had, you know, it's three matches so like that can happen, but yeah, we just had like three matches of just like awkward draws all the time. Um, bag of holding is not playable whatsoever with Teferi. It's just, it's not playable. Um, but yeah. So I'll have to kind of like, you know, go back and, and take a look at the deck some more. Um, 
you know, Rotting Registor and Ferocidon does make it, so we have, like, the eight three drops there, because, uh, you know, you're you're mostly casting Labs of Stage on one, but, you know, not all the time, but most of the time we're playing it on one, but the it still felt, like, too much as far as the three drops go and needed to be lower. But, you know, um, we'll work on it. Oh, well, that's Rakdos Aggro, though. Um, so if you're watching on, on YouTube, I hope you still learned things. Uh, you know, learned that uh, Three Man Teferi is a heck of a card, and that card just dominated us game after game after game for three matches in a row. Um, yes, if bounce of, yes, a bag of holding gets bounced, then everything underneath it underneath it's gone forever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, like and subscribe buttons uh, over there. Um, and, uh, yeah, there we go. So thanks for watching Rakdos Aggro and I'll see you for the next video.